So first we're gonna validate that both fields have something already written. So for example, if you click here on search, you can see that since I didn't add anything in the artist or the song, it's printing error, all fields are mandatory because our uh, REST API requires that we send an, art an artist and also requires that we send a song, uh, a song name. So open the app.js, you can remove this. And since we are importing this uh, search form, exporting this, we're gonna import this right here. We're gonna use a user interface. This is the main object, then search form. And we're gonna add event listener. So we're gonna listen for the submit. And we're gonna pass an event. And from here, we're gonna prevent the default of the event. So then we're gonna read the form data. And we're gonna create two more variables, con artist name. This is going to be equals to document dot query selector. And we are importing this. You can see we have the search form, we have the search div, the result and the messages. But we need to read also these fields. We have a field, an input for the artist, and we have also a field for the song. So we're going to create these new variables. We're going to add a comma. We're going to add artist input. It's going to be equals to document dot query selector. And we're going to add the artist ID. Then we add a comma and we're going to add song input. This is going to be equals to document dot query selector. And in this case, this is going to be song. So this is going to export these new variables into the app.js and we're gonna, instead of having this document.query selector, we're gonna use user interface and then a dot is input and we're gonna access the value. We're gonna add a comma because we're going to create a new or a second uh, variable. Song name is going to be equals to user interface and song input and also value. So we can console log this both uh, variables are is name we're gonna concatenate some separation right here something really simple only to check that everything is working some name and open the the console click here on search and you can see we have this empty if we click if we add something like this and uh, you can see we're reading the data so definitely this uh, input this so definitely this module syntax is a little different, but you can see it's really easy to, uh, to pick everything. So we're gonna validate the form, validate the form. And we're gonna add if the artist name is equals to an empty string, or we're gonna add some name, uh, this also is equals to an empty string because the REST API that we're gonna use in the next video requires that we send the artist name and also the song. In this case, we're going to select this message div. So uh, we're going to add user interface, and a dot, message div, and the inner HTML is going to be equals to error. All fields are mandatory. And here on the style sheet for this project, I already added an error in class. So we're gonna add that class to the message div. User interface message div dot class list add error. So save this and click here on search and you can see we have error all fields are mandatory and we're gonna clean this using uh, the same technique that we already uh, have been using in all the course. Set timeout after three seconds we're going to add user interface. Message div in HTML is going to be equals to an empty string. We are going to remove the message from the previous error. And we're going to use user interface again, message div and the class list dot remove. And we're going to remove the error. Save everything. And click here on search. You can see we have error or fields are mandatory. And after three seconds, you can see that the alert is gone. So right here, else, this means that we need to query the REST API. And we're going to do this in the next video.